Hello friends, it's me, Chenwin Kodar. This is the sixth chapter in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. In the previous chapter, chapter five, we talked about thread priorities and we saw how setting different priorities will affect the CPU scheduling for that application for that each threads. So in this chapter, we will talk about the thread status taking. So uh, for example, let's say we created a thread like this and at a point we want to know whether that thread is currently running or not. So uh, let us do that exactly here. So what we what is happening here is we created a thread, then we created a runnable, then we started the thread by setting the runnable and setting the name. So at this point, the thread is running. What I'm going to write here is I'm going to write a while loop here and this while loop will be active until this thread is completed. So in order to achieve that one, let me just simplify the name, uh, sorry, control R, control R, thread, okay then while thread dot is alive so this is the important thing if you call this is alive method it will return either true or false if based on the thread aliveness so it will return true if the thread is still active it will return false if it is not active okay so while thread is active i want to print some message like thread is active Okay, then after, uh, so this while loop will exit only when this thread is completed. And once it is completed, we will say thread is completed. Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, let me just put a thread.sleep here since otherwise the, the, there will be a lot of SR messages. Okay, now let me add one more zero here in order to make this thread Take some time and if I run this program right now you can see that it is saying the thread is active so the this thread is uh, active the, the this message thread is active is printed from the main thread so after this is completed this runnable is completed the thread is alive will return false so when it returns false then this while loop is exited and we will get the message thread is completed. So you can always check whether a thread is active or not by checking this is alive return value. Okay, so that is one thing uh, I wanted to show you in this chapter. The second thing is how to make another thread wait for a thread to complete. For example, this thread, which is this public static void main a thread is the main thread the, as we discussed in the first chapter when the program starts a main thread will be started if i add this like something like this system dot exit zero then what will happen is it will create another thread this high priority thread and the program will exit immediately so this thread will be killed along with it so i am running this program and nothing is happening because it was exited immediately what if if you want to make this thread the main thread wait for this thread to complete okay have you got the idea currently the program is exiting because the main thread is getting exited as soon as the thread is started it is not waiting for this thread to die only after this thread is dead we should exit the program so if you come up with such a scenario, the way is using thread.join. So when we call this join method, the main thread, our main thread will wait for this thread to complete. So as as long as it this will wait as long as this thread will take time to execute. So uh, let us run the program right now. And as you can see previously the program exited momentarily right now it is waiting for this thread to join so let us just wait for the main thread to join so here you can see that elapsed time 10 uh, 10 seconds for thread high priority and after that this thread dot join was completed and the thread the system this system dot exit program was executed so uh, that is about join if you call this join method this will wait the, the thread from which you are calling will wait for the called thread to be completed. 
And if you look at the join method implementations, you can see that there are overrided join method with the long middies and in nanos. So this one is for setting the maximum wait time. For example, let's say that this thread, this main thread want to wait for only maximum five seconds of time. In that case, we will set it as 5000. So uh, this is equivalent to this, this is for easier understanding. So it will wait for five seconds maximum for this thread in case it is completed within that time it will exit otherwise it will kill this thread and the program will die so let me show this to you so uh, sorry 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 it's out should be law case so um, join complete so it will wait maximum five seconds for this join if this was completed within five seconds then everything is fine if it is not completed the program will die killing this thread okay so let us run the program yeah here it said join completed and we didn't go this message message like elapsed time time taken that is because it was sent completed within five seconds of time it took like 11 seconds previously so this thread was killed in the middle so if you simply add this join it will wait as long as it is needed if you add a timeout interval then this thread has to be completed within that given timeout interval so if i reduce this zero to one then this will complete within one second like previously it was completed within 900 milliseconds or so so in that case it won't have to wait for the rest of the four seconds to complete since it is completed within five seconds it will exit immediately so let me show that to you you see that elapsed time was 1.07 seconds and it completed immediately it won't wait for five seconds it will wait maximum for five seconds so that is the point and I have to show you one more thing in order to uh, confirm that it exited within the five seconds let me add this time calculation code here so lapse of time uh, join completed join completed within this much time so uh, we need to calculate time take also let me just add the time taken so what currently will do happen is uh, this thread is keep on executing this will take around 11 seconds to complete so we will measure how much time this join took so it should take only a maximum of five seconds and if i run this program right now from a started and it is on the join and you can see that it just waited for 5001 milliseconds since it this thread was incompleted within that time it immediately killed it and going back once again uh, if i reduce this time this time the thread completed within 1.072 seconds and the join was completed within 1.073 seconds so everything went well here so i hope you understood the a join and isalay method that is for checking the status and for waiting on the thread to complete so i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching this one